Hello, welcome to Hockey Talkie. My name is Clay. Thank you for tuning in. How are we doing out there? Are we hanging in there? Are we getting used to this weird quarantine time frame that we're living in? Right? Hopefully we're staying safe. Hopefully we're being smart out there. This is a this is a serious thing. This isn't a hoax or anything. Let's let's make good decisions out there. If we work together as a society, we can get through this. I mean, not like together though. Let's stay apart like like let's work together separately you know what i'm saying anyhow hockey season is still not going on hashtag midseason off season much like pretty much every other sporting league and a lot of other things in society uh very shut down at the moment however that doesn't prevent hockey news from getting dropped on us and us hawks fans got a little news dropped on us recently rocky Wirtz saying that stan bowman the gm of the Blackhawks will be returning next season. So I just wanted to talk about that. So here we go. Now I know that these last couple years have been a bit disappointing, right? Missing the playoffs these last three years, if we count this year as done. And because of that, and some other things, we have a vocal minority. Yes, I do think it's a minority of fans who really, I mean, really, once Bowman gone uh, because of the lack of playoffs these last couple years and also some bad trades that Bowman has made over the last couple years as well. However, and don't think I'm necessarily defending Bowman, I think what maybe we fail to realize is that no GM is perfect. No GM doesn't make bad moves. We have Stan Bowman, who was able to navigate cap hell pretty decently, right? Enough to win two more cups, right? And even these last couple years, kind of getting our cap under control a bit. Were there some questionable moves? For sure, absolutely. But in the name of getting more security with our cap situation and getting some younger guys into the lineup... Um, that's kind of been the goal as of late. Unfortunately, this team that we have on paper, at least this year, we had some injuries and it didn't really work out, but I thought we had a pretty good team on paper coming into this year. Coaching is a different story. So let's, let's separate like the whole coaching thing from the GM thing. In terms of Bowman, I think we need to realize that or, or understand that it's not easy to come by a competent GM. Like, let's say we get rid of Bowman. Who would we replace him with? Because when I think of possible candidates to replace him, there's not one that comes to mind that I think is actually better than Bowman. Maybe as good, maybe. But then you're just making a change just for change's sake. For me, like... I don't really see the reason right now at this point to get rid of Bowman. I don't. Now, Rocky Wirtz has come out and said that. We've heard similar things from other owners or other GMs about keeping personnel or keeping staff. And then basically right after that, those people are gone. Um, so just because Rocky Wirtz has said this doesn't mean Stan Bowman's seat is not hot at all. He could still be let go. But right now... It's seemingly safe going into next year. If things continue to falter next year, I think we can very much consider that Bowman's seat would be hot. But at this point, I don't think this news is all that surprising. I'm not disappointed that he's kept on. I'm fine with it. I think what we saw this past offseason with the moves he made, not being so crunched with the salary cap, I think we were able to see him make some better moves. I think we got to see a side of him not having to deal with cap hell and have a little bit more freedom, right? Being able to get Kajula for Brandon Manning, right? Yes, Brandon Manning was his own demise, but also could have been something that Coach Quenville really wanted too. Um, you got to remember something like that. But getting um, Kubalik for a fifth, right? Any GM could have gotten Kubalik for a fifth. But Bowman went out and got him, right? 
there's a lot of good moves that he has made over the years. Yes, there have been some bad ones, right? Panarin, right? Um, in terms of just player-wise, right? In terms of cap hell, that actually worked out fairly decently. Um, you got, you know, moves like Yoki Haru for Nylander, although I understand why Yoki Haru was moved. I just think that Nylander was not a good enough return. But that's a separate thing. Bowman's made some good moves. And for me, I'm fine with this. I'm fine with him staying on for now. We'll reevaluate later, especially in this weird time that is the coronavirus, right? You're not going to see a whole lot of uh, teams making moves in terms of staff right now. We have this. We also have the Seattle expansion coming up. Uh, there's, there's some things that are kind of, in my mind, going to change once these two things kind of pass. I think... In my mind, Bowman's probably going to be the GM at least until Seattle's in the league. I think after that, we might see a shift. But for, for right now, I don't really see a whole lot of reason to get rid of him. That wouldn't just be a change for change's sake. Once again, coaching might be a different story. But in terms of GM, personally, I haven't thought or seen of a better candidate to replace him than just having him stay on. But I'd love to know what you guys think. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Love to hear it. Like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate that as always. But most importantly, stay safe. Make good decisions. Let's work together here, but separately. And I'll see you next time.